My name is John Fitzgerald. I've been a member of Grace Fellowship for approximately 37 years. I was born and raised in Riviera Beach, Florida, and I've lived in West Palm Beach area my entire life. Well, I've grown a lot in my Christian life since I've been coming, been coming to Grace. Uh, I've served as a deacon, as a uh, teacher of adult Bible fellowship, as an usher. Back in the mid 80s, my wife was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. And we were very distressed and sad. One night we had a knock on our door. There was two, two men there. They said they were from a church between Marie and Baptist Temple, which is the name of our church back then. And they asked if they could come in and visit with us, and we said, sure. So one of them sat down at our kitchen table with my wife and I and shared his testimony about how he had been deeply involved in drugs and spent time in prison. And then while in prison, he found the Lord and how the Lord had changed his life. And he asked my wife and I if we would like to know for sure when we die, we'd go to heaven and we said, sure. So he prayed the sinner's prayer with us and accepted the Lord as our Savior. And then he invited us to start attending the church, which we did. So after a few months, one night in church, one of the maybe a night service or morning service, the pastor gave the invitation and said, would anybody like to be baptized? And my wife looked at me and says, I'm ready. The reason we didn't go down sooner because she was kind of bashful about getting up in front of the church with no hair but she decided it's more important to do this. So we did, and, uh, and so we continued attending church, and uh, a few months later, she passed away. The night she died at the hospital, Pastor Caleb was there in the room with us, and she passed away. And after she passed away, between the, her death and the funeral, people from the church came over every night and brought, <clears throat> brought food to us. And then the day of the funeral, several ladies came over there and brought a bunch of food and fed everybody and stayed cleaned up afterwards. And I thought to myself, boy, that's a church that really cares about people. And uh, I still feel that way about, about grace.